There we are. Hello, hello, welcome. I am Levertom, and today, in anticipation of actual birthday tomorrow, uh, this, like yesterday, playing some games that uh, really, really are just my entire. <laughs> well, they games that are just really important. Pokemon so much more than Monster Hunter, as Monster Hunter was more of a, uh, like, teenage era of importance, but still fantastic to play. Even further back, in the before times, <laughs> uh, oh my god, Pokemon was one of the first games I'd ever been introduced to, aside from... Uh, what was Super Mario? For the longest time, that was my well, the extent, the fullest extent of my video game experience. But while uh, while out of state, visiting a cousin of mine for a wedding, I was introduced to Pokemon. And since, you know, Pokemon Day and I share a birthday, the launch of Pokemon, oh, so much that ever came afterwards, it was honestly a little bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, too much Pokemon. Uh, but ever since then, still playing as much as I can whenever new ones come out, seeing how things change, how things evolve and adapt and grow, it has been a fantastic thing to look after, and one of my most favorite things that ever came from Pokemon was Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke, for those who may not be fully in the grasp of what the rules are, as well as uh, to state the rules of the Nuzlocke as they will be for my go at it. The basic rules are uh, the Nuzlocke challenge is a Pokemon hard mode. Uh, the player can only catch the first wild Pokemon encountered in each area, and none else. If the first wild Pokemon encountered faints or flees, then there are no second chances. If we see something, and it's our first time in the route or unique area, cut off at anything else, then that's it. I either catch it or that route, cave, mountain, uh, building is off the limits. <laughs> Hello, Steen! Welcome, welcome! Uh, second rule being... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the birthday. Thank you. Uh, the second rule is that any Pokemon that faints is considered dead and must be released. Uh, I want to see how far we can get and where we've come from, so instead of releasing, in the interim... They will be going into a designated store box. So, by the end of it, we'll see what brave heroes of Pokemon we've had and lost. Should we lose any? Uh, I think I'm fairly competent with Pokemon. I'm a fairly competent trainer, so... Aside from horrible, horrible luck, <laughs> I think we should be fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, also, third rule is... Every Pokemon we capture will have a nickname given to it. Uh, it's to help foster camaraderie, to make them more important to us, the trainer, and for our journey. Uh, they will be unique individuals that, once lost, cannot be reattained. Uh, also going with the duplicate clause, which is a very common quote-unquote rule where like if we run into let's say uh, Rattata and I capture the Rattata then if I run into another Rattata and that's my first take on that route it will not count as it is a duplicate and we've already captured it that said if the Rattata is defeated oh uh, no the game's not up just yet we're still on the stream starting uh, just going through some uh, basic stuff that uh, I want to 
introduce before kicking things up. <laughs> Just outlining the Nuzlocke rules. Uh, right, the Duplicate Clause is also going to be working against us in that if we capture a Rattata and we lose a Rattata before it becomes Eradicate, then the Rattata in future lines will also be unavailable for us to capture. Uh, I don't think Raticate occurs naturally. I forget. Uh, aside from that, uh, I do want to see how far we can get. So a blackout slash whiteout isn't going to be a game over if we have Pokemon left over in the box that are valid for continuing. Uh, we may end up having to do a fair bit of grinding, but if that ever happens, I want to try and save that for off screen. So in the event of a total wipeout, I will off screen get the team that remains up to par. Uh, I also will not be over leveling areas. I'm going to be doing my best to keep my team around the appropriate level for where we're heading into. So Brock, for instance, of Pewter City has a level cap of 14 on his gym uh, Pokemon. So before getting the Brock, I'm not going to make any of my Pokemon get up beyond 14. Uh, I do have a Nuzlocke not guide, but a, a checklist on hand. So I'll be able to maintain how far, how fast we go without overleveling or just accidentally capturing something where we otherwise wouldn't be allowed to. Uh, aside from that, though, I think we're all set and ready to go for... Oh, it's a little loud. Uh, if the game itself is loud, uh, please let me know. I can adjust. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll also... Oh well, it's it is pretty loud. Okay, one moment, please. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, uh, one second. Let me get into. Okay, how's that? It might still be a, maybe still a little, just a little. Okay, that feels pretty good. How's it sound, chat? <laughs> okay, much better. Good, good, good. So, fantastic. Ah, uh, let's see. There we are. Oh boy. First time boot up. Of course it has the tutorial stuff. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. <laughs> uh... I do have alerts for the coffee. Uh, it may pop up downwards as uh, I had to reposition it, but it, it, it should be set up. 
should be. Uh, also, uh, as a fun little extra, I went up a little background for the special little little Game Boy thing. Very, very happy with that. Uh, not that we're necessarily going to be using Charmander, but uh, as it's fire red, and red was the first edition, uh, the first version of the game I ever had. No well, commemoration of that. We got Charizard background. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Our first choice. Which? Honestly, they're both nice. I do favor green over uh, red, but of course. <laughs> um, but you know what? Where's that die? Oh boy. I do like my random chance, so let's see. Starlight die. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Steam, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Thank you, Steam, for the donation on Kofi. Uh, you didn't know. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> mm. Oh, but thank you. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> and thank you. Oh. Oh, it's already a great birthday, even even if it's tomorrow. <laughs> uh, oh, I keep much love as well. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you know what then? Steam, you choose for this. Boy or girl, do we want to go with Red? The canonical hero of Pokemon Legend or Green? Who in the manga series, I believe, was something of a Pokemon thief. That's also why I favor green over red, because she's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, design wise, I believe really green, she's the one with brown hair, uh, blue shirt. Go for cannon? Okay. Then. Uh, red. Let's begin with your name. What is it? And of course... He's been your rival since you were both babies. This line always trips me up because what kind of rivalry would babies have? What do he have against us? What has he got to prove? Uh, what was his name now? Uh, who is our rival? Sure. But who is our rival? Hmm. If I were going to be haha -ha funny, I would name him Chat, but I don't want to fight Chat. I want to work with Chat. <laughs> so let's see, who would my rival be? Ah. Uh, Nope, nope. The rival of Levitum shall be. Th 
Dayman. Fighter of the Night Man. Ah. What's it, Dayman? Ah, oh, that's right. I remember now. His name is Dayman. <laughs> Heavy. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Oh, it's shrinking! Oh my god. Ah! Have you played with Nez? Okay, it's time to go. Nope, nope. Dang it. Right. Okay, so first things first. Uh, our trainer number ends with a four. Which means our starter... Uh, let's see. The player's starter Pokemon... Now this... The, the choosing your starter off your ID number is apparently... Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Steen. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the gift. Much love. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh, but I think... We've got a good head start, as as our ID number ends with four, as an interest of increased difficulty. An optional rule is that uh, the last digit of your trainer number determines what your starter would be. So, if it were one through three, uh, we would have the grass type starter. If it's four through six, the fire type starter. So our starter for this playthrough will be Charmander. Which, in hindsight, is lining up with uh, <laughs> the first playthrough ever way back when, uh, as Charmander was my first starter, because I saw a little, little orange dragon and immediately fell in love and had to have a little dragon, oh, which reminds me. Speed fast. Uh, balancing on. Button mode. Frame. Uh, what kind of frames have we got? Ah, yeah. There we go. So. We know our starter is going to be Charmander. Which... I thought it was Bulbasaur for the number four, but that makes sense. One to three. Yeah. Anyways, uh, oh, great. Just skip through all those things. He, he just told us. Ah, we all know. Dangerous to go in the, sh in the tall grass. Don't go in the tall grass. And because we have Charmander, the first two gyms are kind of, uh, kind of stacked against us really, really hard. So, we may have a little bit of a shorter adventure than normal, but who knows? With some luck, some training, we'll make it there. We'll make it to the champion. I believe! Anyways, Dayman, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Levy. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Dayman. You can have one, too. So, Charmander... No. No. Uh... There we go. Buddy. So, Levy, you're claiming the five Pokemon Charmander. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Levy received the Charmander from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? Yes. Ah. Buddy, what is your name going to be? Hmm. Nope. Uh, 
Nova. Yeah. Yeah, Nova. Because we're either going to be a bright, shining star, or we're going to burn out. One way or the other. I'm hoping the bright, shining, uh, bright, shining star. Yeah. I'll take this one, then. Damon received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. Oh, my goodness. Well, thanks, Professor. Wait, Levy, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. First battle! Now, chances are good if we succeed and win. Chances are pretty good. No, for Pete's sake. So pushy, as always. Levy, you've never had a Pokemon before, have you? Pokemon battle is where tra uh, when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other Pokemon's... The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and seeing for yourself. Okay, what do we got? Okay, uh, that's awesome. Oh, it's important to know. <laughs> it's important to get to know your Pokemon thoroughly. Let's listen to your Pokemon, Levy. Open this to check. <laughs> to check the skills and moves of your Pokemon. Also, choose Pokemon here if you want to use one item on one. Okay, so Charmander. Our Charmander's bashful. Oh. And see, bashful? That doesn't have any stat increase. No, that's right, we don't see the stat layout just yet. That's in later generations. doesn't do anything, does it? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Bashful, docile, hardy, quick, and serious do nothing. So we have a truly neutral standout. Which, in the long run, could actually be very beneficial. It's not like we're going to be EV training. Uh, let's start with the growl. Lower his offense. Oh my god, Oak, please. Lowering the, sto st the, st the stones. Lowering the foe's stats will put you at an advantage. Foe's squid to tackle. Okay. So if he's not growling yet, or tail with Inflicting damage on the foe, who does any battle? Nah, he's not, because Tail Whip wouldn't. Tail Whip basically negate what I'm doing. But he's not doing it. So good. Fantastic. We didn't lose our first battle. The Nuzlocke goes on. the trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll take my Pokemon to battle up and duffle it up. Levy, Gramps, smell you later. And off he goes. Off the smell of random people, wherever he might end up. Levy, raising your young Pokemon by making it battle. It has to battle for it to grow. Huh. That's okay. In this version, I believe we have access to Metal Claw, which will help us in a fight against Brock. Oh, no, we got healed. Hey, Ma! Levy, you should take a quick rest. Thanks, Ma. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon looking great. Take care now. Sure. I, I forgot. I don't know at what point they stopped doing it. 
but usually you get a free potion. And I cannot. Oh, nope. That's tutorial. That is also tutorial. Okay. I forget when we get the power of running fast. But that's fine. Uh, oh. Because we're at the point where we cannot capture Pokemon whatsoever, our first actual accessible Pokemon will be given a fair shot once we attain some Pokeballs. So until then... Ah, uh, he gives a potion, right? Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please vis uh, visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Obtain the potion. E. Thank you, dude. But since we don't have any Pokeballs right now, as we have not gotten to that point, this Rattatter does not count for our first on this route. And... Okay, so... Two of those should be low enough to capture it. If we crit it when we're able to capture it, though, then we won't be able to. So it's not super great to level up too much. Because if we knock out every the Pokemon that we run into, that's not going to make for a good diverse team. Pidgey. First ever shiny was a Pidgey. I thought the game had broken. <laughs> I had restarted. But I believe that was... No, no, yeah, it was a Pidgey. Well, the second one I ever found was a... Zigzagoon. Ah, uh, memories! <laughs> uh, I don't think these people do anything, right? There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Yes, universal healthcare. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes! Ah. Oh, one lonely Pokeball. Soon. Soon. Okay, so now, uh... Now that we're in Viridian City... Hey! You came from Battle Town! You know Pokemon... <laughs> you know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Let me see the Oak's, Oak's parcel. Oh my god, child me did not know what a parcel was. So, in my mind, parcel was this... Uh, I don't know why I thought it was this, but it looked like a telescope, but with like a fishing line on it. Kind of little disc-shaped thing. I thought it may have been some kind of toy like that. I don't know. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Then, uh, one day, I'm like, ah, dictionary. Parcel. Oh, it's just a package. I'm not, nah. Habits. Habits die hard. What's that? Yeah, something for me. Ah, it's a custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps! I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Let me in, day man. Take this with you. We got the Pokedex. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by just seeing them. Let's catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We got now the Nuzlocke begins. 
Ah, uh, just five. The wild bear won't always work. A healthy Pokemon can escape, so you have to be lucky. To get a complete guide to the Pokemon of the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Yeah, moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Grants. Leave it all to me. Levy, I hate to say this, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Levy. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. See ya! <laughs> ah, Dayman. Fighter of the Night. Ah, oh, we should have named our guy Nightman. Oh, well. Hey, Dayman's sister. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. We got the town map. Uh, what button? No, buttons for town map is in the future. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's right. We can register on this. Ha, huh, okay. We now have access to Pokeballs. We can now capture our first Pokemon. In Route 1? Hmm. That's right, Pallet Town is its own route. But if I catch one in Pallet Town, then I won't be able to get the ones in the water below. So I. I Actually, uh, Pallet Town, Route 21. So Pallet Town would be its own route. That will save it for later. First Pokemon? A Pidgey! Okay, this is fantastic. It's not going to be much help against Brock, but flying types will be in... Oh, that's right, we got Ember. It will be integral for the future. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to knock it out if I hit it. Level 2 Pidgey isn't much, but it's a good start. <laughs> hmm. Pidgey, tiny bird Pokemon. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. And we gotta give our Pidgey a nickname. Doppler. So no Rattata for this route, but Pidgey is a good, good Pokemon to start since uh, they are literally everywhere. So common Pokemon out of the way, affording for much more potential for a varied team. I 
think there's a main key over there? No, no, not yet, not yet. The rival's up there. And I think I have to get through him before I can get to the, the grass. Uh, let's see, Doppler. Let's see about gentle nature. A gentle Doppler. Gentle is a special defense up. Special defense up, normal defense down. That's very unfortunate. But we're doing what we can. So let's get Doppler a little... A little caught up. Rattata! No, Rattata is a lovely little thing. It's so purple. slower than the Rattata. Let's see, it wasn't a crit, but I don't want to risk a little Doppler just yet. Uh, Doppler didn't take any damage. No, it did take damage. It should be fine. Actually, maybe training in Viridian Forest would be more expedient for Doppler. No, not until it learns Peck. Nova's still not as beefed out as possible. We'll head up into Viridian Forest, uh, catch a bug, and then we'll train in there. That's what we'll do. At least then we'll have Ember, just wipe out bugs left and right. huge into EV training, but I like guessing at what Pokemon give what. Well now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? See, this is the kind of thing I wish when they start doing, just go like, no, I know how to catch a Pokemon, or it just looks and sees like, oh, you already caught one Pokemon. Fantastic, no need to do the tutorial. Yeah. Well, that's just a great, minor great. There you go, old man. It definitely wasn't just your Weedle that you let out of its ball and put back in. Yeah, now tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. Obtain the TG TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch the TV. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Neat. Route 2, new route. Pidgey, which would leave Rattata for this, I think. Because I think this route's only different for Pokemon Yellow? I think 
it's like an Odyssey or something. I forget. But since we already have a Pidgey, this Pidgey does not count for our only encounter. <laughs> I wish it did, as Doppler has, like his namesake, come and gone. A critical hit will do it. Ah, Doppler. We hardly got to know you. That really... Mm. That is really disappointing. Uh... Bye, Doppler. Doppler, we hardly knew ye. You had such promise, but... <sighs> if only. Dang it! <sighs> as I said earlier as well, uh, because of the duplicate claws that I want to work with, because I caught a Pidgey, the rest of its line would have also counted towards Pokemon I could eliminate if I had evolved them to that point, but we never got to have a Pidgeotto! And I don't think there's naturally occurring Pidgeot. In fact, I don't even... No, there are Pidgeottos somewhere. It really would have been nice to eliminate the entire line, though. Whoop. Just to be able to... ...know with certainty... Yeah, may as well. What we can get to, what we can't... And evolving some Pokémon to... ...get them off the table, but... ...no luck for that. Buying some items, as it's going to be a little bit of a tricky run now. Always fear the crits. <laughs> so, plan A has gone out the window. Fine, as we can still recover. Rattata may be small, but don't ask me its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? No. You go into the Viridian Forest, it's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Oh, I don't remember when people show up where. Or what, what generation. <laughs> but, new route. What will be our encounter for Viridian Forest? It's a Pikachu! That is a very rare find. Don't knock out! Okay, okay. I wasn't even going to mention Pikachu being an option to run into, as it's super rare! I would have been... Wait, in this version, I think we get Caterpie? And I think... I think 
Nidoran might be able to show up. But we got a Pikachu, which means second gym is not going to be as instantly lethal for us. Pikachu, mouse Pokemon. It has small electric sacs on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from the sacs. Okay. I need to be very delicate with this Pikachu. Uh, okay, what are we going to name it, though? Uh, huh. I'm looking at a list of names of moons and natural satellites in the solar system. So... Pikachu, you shall be... Io! Io is a moon of Jupiter. Innermost and third largest of the four Galilean moons of the planet Jupiter. Named because Pikachu is very yellow, and so is Io. But that's fantastic, though. That is an extremely, extremely lucky get. Uh, what is that's up with you? Adamant! That's. That's a physical attack up and special attack down. Adamant. Yep. Okay. So, Io is a physical attacker, which may not work out so great, but I think that means a Thunder Punch is definitely an option. Uh, we can probably teach her Dig. I forget what electric moves are in this version that are also physical. Because I think Thunderbolt is Hoenn, and Volt Switch is also. Hmm, hard to see. A lot of the games jumble up who and what and where and when. Nope, dang it. Nope, stop it. Let's see. Io. We need to be exceedingly careful. But the potential! The potential is so high! How much does this even do? risk over is one crit and our answer to Misty is gone. On that note, it's also our answer to Dayman's birds. And his Gyarados. When he gets one eventually. Oh my god. Okay, fantastic. Flying. All that knows is tackle. Good. Static. Oh, static is good. That is a good. 
Isle's gonna be next to useless in Brock's gym. is annoying, but that's how we do. That's how we go. <sighs> we lost one, but we got an amazing swing of good fortune. There is a game over in the event that we run out of all usable Pokemon. I would really enjoy trying again. Just to see how we go. So who knows, next time I may get a Rattata instead. A Pidgey that doesn't get critical hit by Rotata. <laughs> it's fine, we got this. One thing I did get spoiled on with newer games is turn EXP share into an always-on party-wide effect. Which, for the most part, like, I really don't like. Like, yeah, it makes leveling up easier, but, like, that means I use less of that one or any other Pokémon besides the one that's going to do the best every single time. It means less grinding, but, like, I want the option to turn it off. Ha. Huh. Oh, dang it. Okay, so level five, level eight. So don't get above 14 or you're heading to Brock. Should be fine. What level are we in? Uh, 5 and 8. 5 and 8. Because I realize if I'm fighting stuff and swapping out instantly anyways, I may as well go back to Viridian Forest. Higher level Pokemon. And they are weak, mostly, to fire. Weedle! Is Caterpie in blue, then? Well, I guess in this generation, uh, the remake, green. Why didn't I switch? Uh, okay, no, it's fine. Nice! Okay. This should be... Is there not an item? Hmm. 
This bee drill wouldn't be a bad pick either. It would be very limited in where I could use it, but it wouldn't be a terrible Pokemon. Not that I'm discounting our Pikachu, because that... Pikachu here has like a 15% chance of showing up, I think. Maybe not even that. Oh, there's the item. Oh no, Caterpie is here! I guess the divide is only in the originals. Bellsprout and Oddish definitely are split up. Unless the Caterpie and Weedle difference is uh, in a later generation. I don't remember. It's, it's really not that important. I don't know why I'm focusing on that so hard. Uh... poison in this generation. I think they can. I think it stops only in like black and white or sun and moon. One of the two. That just makes these older generations all the more dangerous. Surely, slowly but surely. Go, Nova. If I end up using Pikachu in a fight against Brock, it's definitely not going to live long enough to get many tail whips out. Ground attacks would be much more effective against it as well. We're kind of stacked up for a lot of pain. Unfortunately. Wait, did I ever... I never caught Pokemon in... Route, uh... What, what is this? Route 2? I never caught one for Route 2. Did we fight over... No, we didn't fight here. I... This is where we lost our Pidgey. So we could conceivably get a Rattata in here. You know what? Let's also... Town map. Let's register that. What's the route outside? Oh, Route 2 is also on the other end of the... T only fought a Pidgey here. Yep. Never mind. That might be the Rattata. It is! Okay, so no Rattata on the other end. Uh... Growl? Wait. 
No, it was a Rattata that knocked out... Wait, no, it wasn't a Rattata that knocked out, it was a Pidgey. Dang it! Ah! Can I even look back at what... Oh, you know what? Maybe I can. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my god, I've been talking about Rattata and Pidgey so much, I don't remember what caused the knockout. I said something about, well, there goes our route to... I think... And if I didn't catch one on route two, then, oh well. I'd much rather it be a missed opportunity than getting an extra Pokemon I shouldn't have. So Route 22's Pokemon would be a valid get as well. But our rival's there. I, I want... I want to get at least a level 10 before fighting him. Actually, isn't there... Pokemon a week, you may avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Is this one that you found? Nope. <laughs> a Metapod. Metapod don't have any attacks. So this should be fine. And if it does, then oops. <laughs> but it shouldn't have any. Perfect. 51. Decent experience. get to that point where we don't need to fight every single thing that isn't in our way. Six steps left. One, two, three, four. Ha! Okay. <laughs> a little, a little more dangerous than it needs to be, but yep, no, nope, no. Nope.
We'll try and... No, no, right. Route 2 is off. I don't remember exactly what happened. As I... It was either a Pidgey that did the KO or a Rattata. And I think it was a Pidgey, but I'm not sure. So Route 2 is off. We need to get to the other end of Iridian Forest. Which is also Route 2. Diglett's Cave is something we'll have to come back around to much later on. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on! Let's battle them! I see how tough you are. Bug catcher Rick! Weedle? Okay, he's a, he's a little stronger than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> Not that that's bad. That's good XP. Actually, am I in front of the numbers? Now that I think about it. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Another reason I made the little backdrop for this was I didn't want to be in front of the, the stat bars, which for this bar purposes here it's actually important to see. No, Canopy can't hold it back! Give me less money! Get out my way! I need... Uh. Hmm. Only three damage? That's fine. Buddy. Yo, you can't jam me out. <laughs> you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer! What... What does that even mean? He's telling me I can't jam out? But catch a Doug, send out Weedle. Oh, this one's even stronger. Straight shot, not bad. A little slower, but not slow enough. Nova leveling up. It's fantastic. Another Weedle. Io, let's see about getting you caught up. See how good your special defense is, Weedle. Decent. Slower than the Weedle. And we don't have Quick Attack yet. That's fine. Uh, is the Sting a physical? It might be a physical attack. It's purposefully weak. Kakuna! Should not know any attacks. doesn't protect against special attacks. So even our, though our special attack is a little on the low side compared to our physical, it's going to be more than enough for this. Mm. Shed skin is so random, I never see it work. will be a metapod asleep forever paralyzed forever never shed skin <laughs> oh. but now we have a status effect oh, it's good it's good we found an antidote uh, I 
don't think there's other items still to get. Aha! I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Ah, respect, little warrior. May our battle be glorious. Ayo, Thunder Wave. Accidentally crit. Well, not accidentally. Unfortunately, crit. I really don't want that. We're doing so well. We have a good Pikachu. All right, it can't be lower than that. Uh, it's antidote. Not antidote. Potion. Why did I think that was antidote? Hey, go, buddy. Potion we used on Io. Fantastic. Again, Io is not going to be super fantastic when fighting Brock, so it will be mostly up to Nova. Uh, I think Metal Claw is level 16, so we won't even have that on hand to assist. Which is unfortunate, it really is, but the alternatives would be having a would have been having a caterpie, weedle, squirtle, not squirtle, pidgey or rattata anyway, so. Hmm. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? I'm so used to trainers instantly turning around to catch eyes with you. Oh. Oh, this is unfortunate for you, friend. Oh, it is good to be playing the Pokemon game again, though. Bulbasaur fighting the Geodude. It was the first battle I had ever seen. Back when in the far off year. Oh, what must have been? It had to have been like 95 or something. Hmm. Oh, but ever since then. That's when the commercial started happening. Ah! Pokemon on a bus! Getting put into a vehicle compactor. No! Squished down into the size of a game cartridge. Plugged into a Game Boy. Madness! Ruby or Sapphire. I always enjoyed Sapphire more. What? Ruby's also really, really good. I forget what the unique Pokemon for each one were. Or just play Emerald. Emerald's probably the better option. Of 
Amethyst, and there's also Omega, Sapphire, and Alpha Ruby, something like that. Ayo! Mm. Give them me! Thundershock. No, that's fine, I'll fix it later. How oh, about these games? Starting off on a whole new adventure, not knowing what's going out. Well, what's going on? Going out into the wide, wide world. Good. Level 9. You should hit 10 before leaving the forest. Hey, what up? What's the hurry? What's the rush? <laughs> I need to get in the habit of reading these evil things. I, so long, I usually just skip through them. Because, like, what is Sammy actually going to say? Not much of consequence. Him and his three Weedles. Five to fifteen percent chance, I think. And the only reason I remember it's something like that is because I used to spend hours trying to catch one single Pikachu. So all the other kids, all the other little little fledging Pokemon trainers. Rumor had spread, like, oh, you can get a Pikachu. No, you can get a Pikachu in Viridian Forest. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a Pikachu. It's right there. It's just really, really rare. And of course, you hear rumors and it's like, oh, well, I I need to get a Pikachu. I need to catch one. I want a Pikachu. Why not? <laughs> so to see two. That is bananas. E -A -N -A -N -A -S. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone! Scram! Rude. Uh, I don't think there's anything really important here. Look, my little new techniques as they, new techniques as they grow. But some moves must be taught to them by people. In later generations, there were a lot more uh, like items being handed out in random houses and whatnot. Earlier on, not so much, but sometimes, every now and then, you'll find one. Uh, potion. Let's get two more. Now here we are at what is going to be our greatest hurdle to overcome. Brock is going to be a real big problem. And 
since we have very low access to money, it's not like we can heal our way through it. I think he's got... He's got Onyx and probably two Geodude. Both of which are rock ground, so Io is going to be... Oh no. They're immune to everything Io can do. Because Io doesn't even have an attack. All Io has is, is status debuffs and electric. So... It may actually be entirely on... Nova. Hmm. It should be fine, but now I feel comfortable going back to fight the rival and hopefully getting another Pokemon on Route uh, 22. It should be a little easier now that we have uh, Thunder Wave. Paralyzed Pokemon are a little easier to catch, and uh, I think I think Io is still low enough to not instantly KO a level four Pokemon, so it should be fine. Do the, the rival before we can get to that extra grass. And just to be safe, because I know for a fact that Squirtle by now has learned Water Gun, as I've got Ember. <laughs> Confidence in that could be very well the end of the Nuzlocke. But it'll be fine. We've got this well in hand. fight and I think Mankey is on this route and if Ekans isn't here it might be the patch of grass I'm thinking of outside of uh, Cerulean Town. Cerulean City? No. Yes, yeah, Cerulean City. Celadon. Celadon City is the, the place with the the big giant shop. Oh right, there's an item up here. We got a potion. Probably should have picked that up earlier. 
That's fine. Route 22. Okay, so there is grass available here. I don't remember if the two plots of grass are any different whatsoever. There's no hidden item here. Huh. I guess one there was. So let's see. Nova, switch with Io. Try and get a Mankey? Or Nidoran? It's a Rattatter. Which I have yet to capture. So. Strictly speaking, it is beneficial to capture one here. Oh my god, why is why does it hurt so bad? Okay. Okay, good. The sooner we capture a Rattata, the sooner we can eliminate it from all future pools going forward. A little bummed out, because that means no Mankey for this route. Rattata, Mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. Rattata, you might have been the one to kill Doppler. So... Hmm. You shall be called. Not tight, and that'll be someone, someone big and tough. Ganymede. Yeah, that's a that's a nice name. Nope, nope. Ganymede. That's how you spell it, right? Ganymede. Yes. Welcome to the team, Ganymede. Attack up, defense down. I have... <laughs> I have the lowest defenses on... Actually, no. No, that was Doppler that had the low... Special... Uh, low normal defense. Which may have... Helped lead to his... Uh, premature... Departure from our team. But now we forgot Rattata. Uh, I think the rival saves his Squirtle for the second round. So Nova shall be first. Ganymede will get her up eventually. Metal Claw. No, what else could have been? We could have got a Mankey. Which would have been... Very beneficial to have against a Rock Ground. Well, a Rock Gym. But that's the way things go. Hey, Levy! 
You're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Huh? Did you lose one very tragically, very quickly? Heh! <laughs> Rival D Man will the battle. Ah, uh, Pidgey. I used to have a Pidgey. Now burn! Accuracy fell. That's a problem. No. Please. Please! Nova! Okay. Huh. is nine. Okay. Should be fine. Less fine. Come on. Good. Fantastic. Oh my god, I oh it's no wonder you're the mascot of the company. <laughs> huh. Level 10. Good. Ah, you just lucked out. Yes, I did. I'm very fortunate for that. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling. Get a move on. Dawdling's my favorite thing to do. Uh, nothing else over there. There might be an item under here. I don't remember how often hidden items are a thing in the future games. At some point, they very distinctly stop doing it. Not that there are none, it's just that nowadays they're not uh, in every trash can. Or I could just be remembering a lot of trash cans having items. Which is also a possibility. But it's fine. Off we go. Uh, still no Metal Claw, which is a little... A little spooky. But maybe on the way there. Conversely, I could just look up when it happens. If it is 14, then uh, it'll be fine. Uh, I believe G Dude and Onyx, being rock types, I believe their physical defense is very high. I don't recall their special defense being so high. So where Io has no hope of ever touching them. Ah, oh. Nova definitely has a strong lead. Metapod is a fantastic meat stick to use a fledging little Ganymede on. Eradicates, they're, they're decent. They're not the most powerful, most dangerous in the world. But they do good work. <laughs> One of the most terrifying things 
I've ever seen was a level one Radita. That new quick attack and endeavor. And was wearing a fancy focus sash. Anything that's not a ghost type is doomed. There's an episode of Cowboy Bebop called Ganymede Blues as well, and I think that's... No, I'm thinking of it came from the fridge. There definitely is an episode called Ganymede Blues, but it might be uh, a Fey episode. <laughs> Fey episode. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a Faye Valentine episode. Hmm. Hard to say. It's been a bit. But it's definitely a show I need to rewatch. Ha! Huh. We survived. Made it out to the other side. No Metal Claw yet, but. to fight them before hitting level 14. Or at least go in at 14. As long as we're not out-leveling Brock, it should be fine. Let's see. Which means I've got one more level I can get. Well, also, share a little with Ganymede. He's a Rattata! Actually, we can definitely beat up this level to Rattata. Mm, flashbacks. Good. I'm a little weirded out that all these Rattatas are getting second attack critical hits. I'm hoping that uh, that doesn't keep going. Uh, it'll be fine. Or at least if they do keep going, I hope they work in my favor. Even if it's a crit, I should live. Uh, okay, this should be fine. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Getting a feel for it. Getting a feel. Definitely. I really don't want to add another one to the Fallen box. Not this soon. First trainer in Brock's gym is in any way not a clear cut victory. You might not have enough potions to get through Brock. Just part of the reason I wanted to get Ganymede a few levels in there. So good to have. No need to tempt fate. <laughs> sure, it wasn't a crit, but who's to say it wouldn't have been a crit on uh, Genemy? And we need a rat. We need Rattata. Rattata can at least touch an Onyx and a Geodude. Oh! There's Weedles outside as well. Huh. Good 
to know. There's no way to get to Mount Moon yet before going through Brock. So we're a little we're a little trapped in where we are. But it should be fine. I don't believe any of these Pokemon could possibly knock out Nova. Unless it's that one in a million Raticate. Rat Ratata! If we get Metal Claw at or before 14, that should carry us to the dun uh, dungeon. That should carry us through his challenge. If not, Ember should still do wonders. I can't paralyze any of them because they're all ground type as well. She could growl, but I think they have. I don't think ground is super effective against fire. But I could be mistaken. It's been a while. I'm not a fire type specialist, so... What exactly they're weak to, I forget. Why am I going there now? Some XP is better than no XP. So I think 16 is the magic number for evolution, which may be a little bit out of our way for Proc. And Misty's got a star you star me. Psyduck. It's been a bit. <laughs> uh, also good to note, Caterpie and Weedle are out here. Thirteen? Metal Claw? Yes! Okay. So we are now ready to go take on Brock. I don't think I'm going to bother putting Io or Ganymede in, as they're likely to just explode. And we don't need that. We especially need Io for Misty. Because there's no way a Charmeleon is going to freaking sweep her team. Not without overleveling, and I'm not going to overlevel anything for this run. to overleveling as well for this run, uh, entering the gym at level, if they, the Pokemon happen to level up 
beyond that on the way in through the gym trainers. I'm not going to count that against taking on the challenge without overleveling. Like if this kid's Diglett or Geodude pushes uh, Nova over 14. I don't think he's got Diglett. I think he's just got Geodude. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to count that as over level. So let's see how effective. It'd be a lot more, <laughs> a lot more effective if it hit. Uh, you know what? Just for a giggle, how how accurate is Metal Claw? Ninety-five. Okay. had the super effective and a chance to raise attack power. I've never seen Metal Claw actually raise my attack power, so I'm hesitant to have faith in that. Okay, super effective, but it also did a defense curl, so let's try Ember. Not very effective. Ground resist fire or rock resist fire? Either which way, Ember's not going to be a good answer for the future. Sand Shroom. Ground type. Uh, level 11. You know what? Let's test. Rock is resistant to fire. Good to know. So ground type isn't the one resistant to fire. Rock is. Good to know. Okay. Rock, uh, Geodude, and Onyx are both ground rocks. So Ember is not going to be as helpful as I thought it might be. It might hit their special defense, which is lower than their physical, but... Even with stab, yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> Light years isn't time; it measures distance. Okay. Okay. So test, test has been proven. Ember is not the answer, like I thought it might have been. Which I guess is why they gave Charmander uh, Metal Claw to begin with. Because holy cow. The original red and blue, trying to get through Brock with a Charmander, with a not very effective Ember as your only attack beyond Scratch. <sighs> it is a miserable fight. Especially when Squirtle and Bulbasaur both have super effective stab moves. And Charmander does not. Nova is now level 14. So even if I would leave now and train some more, it would have to be Io and Ganymede, which neither one of them are going to be handy in this fight. So, make or break time. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym's leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and we have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Here we go, Brock. Leader Brock would like to battle. From two dude, which means the onyx must be higher level. Get in the metal claw before he buffs up. Uh, attack boost? No? Okay. The attack boost would have been really nice. Oh boy. 
Okay. Okay, getting through Geodude with no damage taken. Ah! I had to say something. I don't want to risk a miss. 95 is a very high accuracy. Uh, what if it missed, though? Onyx. Okay. I think Onyx still has Bide. So just in case, let's, uh... Well, sadly, Nova lived up his name, burning out, and uh... oh, jeez. I think that's it. That's really, really unfortunate. And that's gonna knock Io out. No! Okay, okay. We're not done yet. probably should have sent Io in immediately, but even if I did, it probably wouldn't have used Tackle. It probably would have used Rock, uh, rock to. And I don't think I can sw I swap out until Rap is done. Okay, good, good. Let's just keep attacking its attack stat. Just gotten one metal claw in. Oh, that's so disappointing. Damn it, Nova. Oh boy. This <laughs> Death by inches. Death by inches. Oh my god. Maybe... I don't know why he's not using Rock Tomb anymore. But maybe if he runs out of PV, <laughs> then uh, he'll shuckle himself to death. Fight. Uh, we 
just it can't. I don't think static works on ground types, so even even if we let it attack Io, I don't think it's getting paralyzed. Nice. Crit is nice. Come on. No, we're not even faster than the Onyx. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, miss. Good. Oh my god. Ganymede. If we can just get a few crits in there, Ganymede. And the story you'll have to tell after. <sighs> One more potion. Because there's literally nothing I'll can. Onyx would be super cool if you missed more often. Unfortunate, as there's nothing. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it was a fine run while it had lasted. We got some good luck, some terrible luck, some bad luck, and overconfidence was a slow. Not even the slow and insidious killer. It... Yeah. Well. That would be the end of this Nuzlocke run. Holy cow. Hmm. So in the meantime... Two hours is not the... <laughs> not the length of a Nuzlocke I thought we may have had. But... All that leaves, then, is a new run. Yeah. Yeah. One moment.
Okay. There we go. So. Starting on a, <laughs> a second Nuzlocke already. As I had really hoped that we'd gotten a little further than that. Uh. Odds, so history maintains. Uh, who shall take up the mantle of the failed initial levy run? <laughs> uh, you know what? The Nightman. 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 This is the Dayman. Unfortunate, but maybe we'll get a different spin of luck and not immediately start out with Charmander and a bunch of unfortunate crits that take out our lowest Pokemon. Dayman, wah! Fighter of the Nightman, wah! Champion of wait, oh, I probably should have named him. the PC character Dayman, and we'll fight the Nightman. Oh well, we've got a theme to maintain. The theme is very much night. Ah, oh, that's so sad though. We had such. Good luck! We saw two Pikachus! We caught one Pikachu! Ah. If we had gotten that Mankey instead of the Rattata- Oh, if we had caught a Rattata sooner! Ah, oh, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me change... Title from Well, just adding on a take two as we uh, fell in battle and now we're gonna be avenging the fall of Levy as the Nightman. <laughs> Hopefully Nightman has better uh, luck. Is our trainer number. Be patient, day man. The night man. A seven. What is seven? Let's see. As per regulation of the Nuzlocke challenge, optional rules for increased difficulty. Which I now regret immensely, but, you know, you never know unless you try. And, uh, oh, we didn't, didn't even have, oh, Nova, you will live on in my heart. Unless you're coming right back, in which case, uh, no. A seven through nine is the water type. Okay, so in this 
In this timeline, avenging the last timeline, we shall instead have a Squirtle. Which, admittedly, right from the get-go, is a much more uh, advantageous go of things. So let's see, what shall we name our Squirtle? Nova, I knew we were gonna have a tricky time, but I had I had hope and faith that uh, we would burn bright and burn long, but sadly it was not so. Uh, likewise, Io and Ganymede, unfortunately, were taken before their time. So Squirtle, uh, what is a moon that had ice discovered? On? has ice. Wait, no. Let's pick up. Yes. Okay, the moon does have ice on it. But what other moons have ice? I think... Actually, Ganymede might have been the moon that discovered ice on it. Male Squirtle. Ah, fitting. His name shall be... Nope, nope. There we go. Triton. As there was ice discovered on Triton. Suitingly enough, Bulbasaur, very much not as dangerous as uh, a, uh, a Blastoise would have been. There's a lot more answers to grass than there is to fire, I feel. Especially since... I, I mean, I could... If we were fighting a Charmander, conceivably there's, there are good answers to fighting a water type. But, with grass, like, it could be fire, it could be flying, uh, psychic would also work, because Bulbasaur becomes poison type. Also, ice, uh, bug. Not to get too ahead of myself, as, uh... <sighs> It could all go real wrong again. <laughs> that said, I have done more playthroughs and like throughout the history of my Pokemon playing time, I've done more with water than anything else. Especially in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I mean, I remember making dedicated teams of water types to go through the game. Which, for Sapphire, was moderately annoying. Ruby was very much easy mode. <laughs> but we're not looking for easy, we're looking for a story to sculpt. We're looking for success and failure. We're looking for grand endeavors of avenging our poor fallen soldiers. But that's the stands. Squirtle's a good solid pick. He's great against Brock. Moderately good against Misty. Lieutenant Surge is gonna be a problem. Erica is gonna be a problem. But at those points, hopefully we have something of an answer for them. With Lieutenant Surge especially, we can definitely try and get a Diglett. Get the Geo Dude who won Onyx. Uh, I... 
not to overlook the here and now, as looking too far forward can cause us to trip up on our own overconfidence. <laughs> uh, Triton, buddy. My bad. I'll pay more attention, I promise. Actually, oh, you know what? What is our Pokemon's nature? Modest! Which, uh... Does that do anything? Oh! For a modest nature, special attack goes up, and physical attack goes down. So our boy Triton here is very much a special attacker. Probably why that fight was so close with the Pidgey. Because I did not yet use Bubble. <laughs> oh no. Man! I'm so sad about freaking Nova. I thought it was so, so cute that we ended up getting the fire type starter. And it went with the background I had made, and uh, it would have been so much fun. But oh yes, Charmander, it's the hard mode. Nuzlocke, it's already the hard mode. We're doing additional difficulty with not choosing our starter ourselves. But such things happen. And it is still fire red, so the background still goes well with it. Just, just disappointing. I really like Charizard. I really like the whole line: Charizard, Charmeleon, Charmander. They're cool and cute, and they're dragons. Not really, but they, they, they may as well be dragons. bubble. Getting those speed downs. <clears throat> Not once have I ever had Metal mm, Metal Claw ever raise my attack. I've never seen it happen. And it turns out I never will. <laughs> well. I don't even know what else we've learned to Metal Claw in this generation. Eradicate learns? No, it probably learns bites. I don't know, but we, we've seen this about, uh, about an hour and change ago, so let's get caught up to <laughs> getting to Pewter City. Oh boy. That's so disappointing. I'm sure if I had leveled up Ganymede more. Probably would have been able to be fine. Io doesn't learn any normal attacks, so I probably should have sent Io in. I thought Electrotites were weak to rock as well. But turns out, no! It's just the ground portion. And that's unfortunate. If I had realized that sooner, I would have sent Io in first. Would have lowered the onyx. Yeah, we would have loaded the onyx's attack and defense, like we did before. Ganymede could have gone in and had a much better chance of doing more damage and surviving longer. Then again, that could all just be conjecture, as critical hits ignore stat uh, changes. Oh, and our first is a Rattata, which is good, because, uh, that eliminates Rotata for that one batch of grass, which means we have better odds of getting a Mankey. No, not Potion. Ah, so bummed out. But it's okay. We'll redeem ourselves.
Rattata again. Rattata. Ah. I'm not gonna name this one Ganymede. Ceres is a moon of Uranus, I believe. Actually, let me double check. It might be Neptune, actually. I still want to do the theme <laughs> of naming things after moons. Ceres, the moon is C-E-R-E-S. Ceres is from Mass Effect. I thought it was the other way around. Whoops. Oh, well. Well, you know what? Matata is purple, which Asari can be. Oh, I should play Mass Effect. Not to go off on a yeah another tangent. Ah, uh, but it's fine. We'll catch up to where we were. Uh, chances of finding a Pikachu as our first encounter is much lower. No, they're not. Beedrill's not. It's a bug poison. Butterfree is bug flying. Hmm. And bugs aren't weak to electricity. So. Actually, no, I think Lieutenant Surge is right. He does know dig. So a Beedrill would be weak to that, at least. Ah, not that I need to go planning things too far ahead. If, uh, if we get got early on again, eh, that'll be what it is. Hopefully we at least last long enough to, uh, to really show what we've got. To give it our all. Mankey would be fantastic. Don't be Pidgey. Pidgey would be a waste. It's a Minky! Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Half health crit. Fantastic. That's a fighting type. That is another... Another line of defense against Brock's team. So, holy cow. Extremely lucky. And a new Pokedex entry. Mankey. Pig monkey Pokemon. Light and agile on its feet, and ferocious in temperament. When angered, it flies into an uncontrollable frenzy. Yeah. 
Callisto. Another moon of Jupiter. Which is going to be a little bit of a running trend, as Jupiter has some 16 different moons, I believe. Actually, let's find out what your nature is like, Callisto. Naive nature. Speed up, special defense down. Huh. I kind of like that. A fast fighting type. We're already a little bit ahead of where we were before. As I thought that branch over there was significantly higher level than, uh... Viridian Forest. But it's not, so it's all good. What's your move? Vital Spirit prevents sleep. Interesting. No fighting attacks yet. Hmm. Unlike Nova, there's no Ember, so... No easy XP farming in the forest. Uh, <laughs> we need Callisto up more than we need Ceres up. Having a fighting move will be invaluable. It's low kick or karate chop. I forget what it learns first. Do Pokemon even still learn karate chop? I feel like they stopped learning that. Not that I'm a huge fighting type user. The only one I used in recent memory uh, to any extent was Pangoro. I, I never got the town map. Uh, having, we don't need it per se, but it is easy to keep track of. I, uh, what routes we're on? notice what's where and whatnot. Hmm. Leer. Actually, you know, Leer is the same thing as Growl, isn't it? No, Growl's attack. Wait. Leer's the same as Tail Wag, I think. One of the two. That is one thing I do like later on, that uh, there's less Pokemon that have the same moves that do the same exact thing, just called something else. Lowest defense. So what's the difference between Leer... Tail Whip. It's just one is intense and one's cute. Actually, that might be the thing. Pokemon contest did have uh, certain moves that worked best in there. But that's fine. Ah, we'll catch up. Or make our way. level just so terrifying oh uh, no and uh, that f 
first run's failure was definitely just all my fault. If I had stopped the train the more... If I had got Ganymede caught up to Nova... Ah, wishful thinking, though. It's in the past, and we must move forward. So now we get the map. Just to have a little something. Switch to that. And off we go. To redeem ourselves and not be so hasty. I genuinely thought uh, that Metal Claw would have done all the work, but... Sad to say, it did none of it. A crit rock tube. Just obliterated Nova. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Ah! But it's alright. Uh, Peachy doesn't have any flying attacks yet. It's still scary. It's still a scary bird! moves yet. Try and getting up there. I really hope Callisto learns her fighting moves soon. <laughs> that would make the training a lot easier. I was just thinking to myself, why is Tackle so strong all the time? It's because all these Pokemon are getting the stab bonus for it. Squirtle isn't a normal type, so it doesn't get the special, uh, the same type attack bonus that uh, a Pidgey and Rattata will. That's why it so consistently hits so much harder than I think it should. is not nearly as high up as I thought he was. That's also going, also going to tweak things a little. fair. I do greatly appreciate that they put a fighting type this early in the game, period. I could have sworn Nidoran was also in that area, but we didn't see one. Not that it's not there, it's just... Rattata and their crit tackles. And they're freaking everywhere, of course. 
Yes, there are. Uh, oh boy. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Capture uh, the opposite end has Weedle and Caterpie, which makes uh, it's in. Eh, I mean, it all it means is that if I wait until the other side to go into the grass, if I catch a Weedle or Caterpie inside. I can get the other outside or a Pidgey. Hmm. So, you know what? I can look at the the Nuzlocke checklist. So let's see, route two. Two Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, Rattata. I have Rattata, so we have a chance to get Pidgey out here. We're in Viridian Forest. Oh, you know what? I should probably fill in these, uh. <laughs> uh let's see. Pallet Town. We didn't catch anything in Pallet Town. So that's left blank. Rival blue has. Oh, wait, no. For route one, we captured a. Rattata. For route 22, we got a Menke. Viridian City, there's encounter. Oh, there's water in Viridian City, so that it's that would be its own encounter spot. So Rattata has been captured. Minky has been captured. Viridian City, we did not encounter anything yet. We'll need a fishing rod or surf later. Route two. Oh, this checklist is so nice. Shout out to the freaking Nuzlocke app. They mark off what you've captured and what you still have left available. So, Rattata has been grayed out for this list. So, Pidgey, Weedle, and Caterpie for this route. And for Viridian Forest, Weedle, Metapod, Kakuna, Caterpie, and Pikachu. So if I capture a Pidgey out here, that would eliminate it in uh, many other areas, including the opposite end. Which would guarantee getting a Caterpie or Pidgey. Or, if I get Caterpie or Weedle out here... Why did I say Pidgey? Caterpie or Weedle? If I get one of the two out here... I can better my odds of getting a Pikachu inside, even if it's a slight, slightly better odds. So let's see what's out here. It's a Pidgey! A level 5 Pidgey. That's dangerous. That's a weapon that shouldn't exist out in the wild. add to the team as well, though, so don't... Okay, good. No crit. Come on. 
and stay in the ball. Perfect. So checking off Pidgey captured on Route 2. And, oh, we had a Pidgey before, so no need to read off his decks this time. Pidgey's nickname shall be... Deimos and larger of the two natural satellites of Mars, other being Deimos. Traffic started so early out, so close to Pallet Town. Phobos. Make sure I spelled it right this time. Good. So on the opposite end, we have guaranteed ourselves a Caterpie or Metapod. Uh, Caterpie or uh, Weedle. Let's see, Phobos, what do you like? Adamant! That's. That's pretty good, actually. That's a physical attack up, special attack down. Which, for a normal flying type, is pretty good. A lot of flying types are physical and not special. Keen eye prevents loss of accuracy. Fantastic. Prevents sleep. Ups attack if suffering. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Uh, Guts is an ability that raises the attack of a Pokemon by 50% when it has been inflicted with a status condition. Ah, okay, good to know. I would have otherwise assumed it meant low health. So good. Where before we had two Pokemon, we now have four. Oh boy. Never get too overconfident. One crit and everything comes crashing down. <laughs> So, future reference, this is the water that is in Viridian Town. Which I never even gave credit as being a thing. <laughs> Let's see, Phobos, Callisto, Ceres. <sighs> is it even worth leveling up Ceres? Nah, no. No, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep Ceres on. If nothing else, Ceres can be a debuffer. Oh, but it's so low level. Where were all these level 5s last time? Okay. Uh, 
all these critting ratata. Get out of here, ratata. The XP share would be pretty nice and stuff in a situation like this, but it wouldn't be as dangerous like that. One stray crit changes the entire layout of battle. I don't know why I thought there were Nidoran in, in this batch. In fact. Oh, Route 22 must be a lot bigger than I thought. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. just these two patches of grass. Why? Oh, it's counting your rival's Pokemon as being on that route. Right, right. So we have a chance of Spearow. Huh. 10% chance of Spearow. You know, while I'm looking at it, what are the chances that the well, no, it, it doesn't matter. The Pikachu don't matter. Focus! <laughs> oh, God. There's so many things that could go wrong. Uh, so many things. That said, I'm feeling good about this run. I'm feeling good. I'm, uh, I'm feeling, yeah, yeah, feeling more confident. Don't know why I'm afraid of a level three, but... is not low kicking me. Okay, Ceres is level five. We can move on to other grass. I say right before I get crit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm so nervous. But it's fine. Great and powerful adventurers! We start small so we can have somewhere to grow. Ha. Huh. Thinking off the top of my head, I don't know... I don't know what other niche rulings I might go with as well. As far as things have been stated, I think we're set. In later games, it'd be much more of a thing of like Pokemon being given to you being more frequent. In this game, I believe the only one given is Eevee. 
it's also the only way to get one. So, Pokemon given specifically like that, I am fine with. Trades in-game, also likewise fine with. The game corner is probably going to be off-limits, I believe. Uh, not only because I have no patience for gambling like that. Uh, also, if it wasn't off-limits... Damn it! What is it with these critting Radita? <laughs> Why are all the Rattata critting? Why? Uh, well, there goes Viridian Forest. No Caterpie here. Oh, uh, let me put that into the checklist. Viridian Forest. Counter Caterpie. Because we caught a Pidgey on Route 2. The Route 2 that continues beyond Viridian Forest is off limits. So. The Caterpie that we could have gotten there is also likewise off limits. Unfortunate. It's not even like Caterpie are all that common outside of Viridian Forest either. Antidotes this time. Oh no. Oh no, it's all falling apart now. My hubris! My arrogance! No, you stop. You stop that! At least one antidote. And a couple potions, I believe. Oh boy. And I don't have any antidote. Hmm. Okay. In 15 steps. or a potion. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. Do I have anything? Oh, that sucks. Damn it! I buy the items. Why didn't I? Mm, Saris. Damn it. Damn it. 
that was entirely my fault. I didn't buy potions, I didn't buy antidotes, I didn't buy anything because I had just done that less than an hour ago. And... I immediately thought, no, I don't need to buy anything more, I got everything already. I got all the stuff set up. Ready to roll. Lo and behold, we were in fact not ready to roll. Damn it, it cost me Saris. That's so disappointing. So five potion, five antidotes. Two more Pokeballs left. Hey, Kiwi! Welcome! Ah, uh, it just didn't time to see me bury one of my Pokemon. Uh, fortunately, already failed one Nuzlocke as Brock destroyed my Charmander, my Pikachu, and my, uh, Rattata. Poor Nova, Io, and Ganymede got obliterated, and I thought I had bought enough potions and antidotes to go back in, but that was the previous attempt. So, when I went into Viridian Forest, turns out I didn't have any items, and two Pokemon got poisoned, and I only had enough potions to save one of them, as my poor little Rattata, Ceres, succumbed to her poisoning before making it to the uh, Pokemon Center. But, uh, not even but, because, again, it was my own fault. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it, it's fine. We, we can persevere. We, I've got... Yep, nope. We still have Callisto, the Mankey. Phobos, the Pidgey, and Triton, our little Squirtle guy. I feel much more confident in this run. As, uh, as rare as the Pikachu are, they have no attacks that can touch Brock's team. So last time, not only was I behind the 8-ball with a Charmander, who was... Very, very squishy, as it turns out. But, uh, having a Pikachu that can only debuff... ...and then having a Rattata that was not trained to the same levels... ...and could only ineffectually attack... ...I thought Nova the Charmander would have been able to carry the whole team with Metal Claw, but he could and he got obliterated with rocks. And I already crit another Caterpie in the forest here, so by the rules of the Nuzlocke, I cannot capture anything here, so I'm just... just out of luck. The Rattatas around here have been seemingly trained with the art of gun, as more often than not, their first or second attack will crit. So every fight's been... Oh, did it, did it die? No? 
Did it get poisoned? Yes. I forget which one is first. Because that will save us so much time. But I swear, these Rotata have been out in force with brute squads. I also don't have... I don't have the money to keep spending material, uh, spending healing items. Because I don't have my first playthrough as Charmander, I don't have an instant kill, one hit attack for this fight, or for this area. It would be fantastic if, uh, now that I think about it, I think it is Gust. I think Spiro learns Peck. Which would have been fantastic, but I didn't get a Spiro. And my Menki has yet to learn a fighting attack. So we're a little bit behind in all things uh, offense, to the point of like, now that I'm verbalizing this, I shouldn't be training in Viridian Forest. Because I don't have the money for antidotes. I said they are higher level, which would be nice. Also, <laughs> check out the background! I tweeted since uh, last time I showed you. We have low kick! We have achieved low kick. Ah, it... The background... <laughs> oh, thank you. Because I used the, uh, the trainer number to determine what our starter was going to be, we had a Charmander and it was going to go with the whole fire aesthetic. But then he died. So, no fire type. Which is unfortunate. Uh, and so we have low kick now. Which is a fighting move. So hopefully this will help us in our fights against other Rattata, but we're not going to fight a Rattata. How effective? How heavy is a manky? It's mm, <laughs> okay. Okay, we have an answer now. Low kick is a very strange attack in that it its damage depends on how heavy your opponent is, but we also get same type attack bonus because it's a fighting move. So. Okay, I guess Minky are just heavier than Rattata are. Makes sense. But still, that's so much damage. That's so much more. Ah, dang. Because on top of the normal, like, Nuzlocke rules, I'm also going with, like, no overleveling past the next gym. Duplicate claws. Just in the efforts of diversity. So. Because my gat dang Rattata got obliterated, I can now no longer catch any Rattata. So, Raticate, when it shows up, is still technically on the list of Pokemon I could get. 
but no more rad radish ever, which... Because I caught that and a Pidgey, both a blessing and a curse. I... Desperately want my Pidgey to stick around because Pidgeotto and Pidgeot are very strong. And I really want Callisto to hang around as well. Because Primeape is really, really good. Naturally, I want I mean, I want them all to stick around, but like. I've already lost a full team. <laughs> I want these guys to hang around. Uh, boy. Uh, other than that, though, things are going pretty well. <laughs> uh, how about everything over there in Kiwi Land? Land of the Kiwis. Home of the fuzzy little fruits and the the birds with the oversized eggs. option for me right now. Minky are pretty heavy, so low kick does a decent amount of damage. Our rival is still up here. We didn't fight him yet in this go. But he has a... No, we have a squirt, but he's got Bulbasaur now. And a Pidgey. We love up our own Pidgey and get Gust. That will help us in the fight against the Bulbasaur. Because I don't think it's poison yet. I think Ivysaur gains poison type. So that's something. Something to look forward to. It won't be as bad. I think our rival's starter was level 11. Uh, and we don't have any flying attacks yet. And there's no way I'm going to throw Triton at a freaking grass type, because that would be silly. And begging for uh, another wipe. <laughs> Because now the challenge isn't Brock. We have two answers to Brock, where before we had half. I say half because it... Charmander's uh, Steel Claw is very nice. It's very nice. But he couldn't survive one shot. Uh, 
so this time we'll be safe. We'll be careful. We'll have a proper plan going in. We'll have A, a Pokemon that is not weak to uh, what he's got going on. B, has a stab super effective attack. And B, well, no, I said B. C, we've got a Pokemon that can actually hit as happy as I was to see that we caught a Pikachu. Uh, no, no, yes. Uh, I'm not taking a chance with these Rattatas. These Rattatas have been killing Pokemon left and right. I just can't believe how unlucky slash lucky last run was. I saw two Pikachu and caught one. Quick Attack, that would have been so good, but I think Quick Attack is level 16 or 18, one of those two. So it wouldn't have even mattered because I wouldn't have been able to get that high up as I'm not overleveling the gyms. the Saffron City. Thankfully, the checklist has things more or less in order of what routes are probably going to be the ones we run into. Saffron's one of those ones where, back in the day, I... before knowing exactly when you were supposed to go, was one that was easily missable for a good while. <laughs> I don't remember if they changed that for Fire Red. But I definitely remember... Actually, it may not have been Fire Red. Uh, I forget now. But there was a game where... I had missed... One... Actually, it might have been... Uh, I might have missed Koga's Gym. One of the two. Either Sabrina or Koga you can miss entirely and not ever need to go to. I forget which one it is. I didn't feel like it was one of those two, but... Yeah. Ah, sorry. I'm... Just occupying my mind, because if I don't, I keep thinking about how I could have done last run better. But we're not here to dwell on what happened before. We're looking towards the future. We're gonna do it going to succeed <laughs> oh boy I will say it was very funny that we made it to what was the two hour mark before uh, disaster struck so <laughs> on the one hand it was funny on the other We've got to train everyone up again. But, you know what? For those of you watching, what's, what are some of your favorite Pokemon? Or... I guess favorite types, even? Dealer's Choice. Trap inch the Chad says Kiwi. I feel like you told me that before. Right. Yes, you did. I'm not a big fan of Flygon. I think it has been a bit. Trapinch. I don't remember. It's something about Flygon was distinctive in the line of the three. Unless I'm misremembering. It could be. 
On that, on that point, did I ask why trap hinge? I feel like I did, but I don't quite recall. Flygon is a chat. Okay, well. I don't, it's surprising to me that, like, the first line would be, like, this is my number one. In my mind, usually if someone likes the, the first more than its final, it's because they don't like the final as much. <laughs> Trap hitch because him head too big for him goddamn body. You know what? That's fair. I respect that. So what if Flygon's head was too he too big for his goddamn body? What then? and won one time against my friend. So Trap Inch is the most based. Well, that's fair. How about Pokemon type, though? Because Trap Inch is a... Pure ground? I don't remember. At some point, I'm going to be playing Emerald as well. Uh... I do also want to play, like, well, because I do want to play this game to the end, but that may also just be my own playthrough kind of thing. If I'm going to do it on a stream, I definitely want it to be a Nuzlocke, because those are the most fun to me! <laughs> They're the most fun! Ah, oh, the teams you end up with, the stories. Like, it would have been... Ah, not to keep harping on the failed run. Had Ganymede the Rattata made it through the Onyx at the end. If she had made it through, that would have been the coolest Rattata I have ever seen. But unfortunately, she fell in battle. History was written. And now we have a flying move. Ha! Huh, which means Viridian Forest is not going to be as... deadly. The amount of Weedles we ran into this time is... feeling like triple the amount of Caterpie we ran into last time. So poison is a deadly, deadly threat. Now that we have Pidgey with the flying move, we don't have to fear the trainers nearly as much. And we do need to get a move on before we end up hitting level 14 and over-leveling Brock. So we've got Phobos in the lead, Triton in the back, and Callisto over there. Right in this Pokeball. Or Potion? Potion. <laughs> Nearly three and a half hours in, and we're catching up to where we left off. Uh, of course, Weedle. See, now, now the crit gun is on the other bird hand, huh? Caterpie, no threat from poison. So, Triton.
Because I'm, I'll tell you straight up, I have zero patience for Weedle when, uh, I freaking Rattata Ceres died to poison already. I'm not having it. Not again. So Blitz the Weedle. Level up off Caterpies and Metapods. Or Kakunas, if we find them. To avenge our more fallen team. Not that this happened in this timeline. <laughs> in this timeline, we were avenging Ceres. Well, because again, we don't have the money to be buying potions and antidotes all day. Okay. How many potions do we even have? Six and four antidote. This a great XP. Holy cow. Uh, nah, too risky. Get, how is he faster? Doesn't matter now. Kakuna, okay. XP bag. Uh, outside Viridian. Miss the bugs. And. Okay, so let's. <clears throat> let's get Callisto some XP. Uh, let's see. How heavy is Kakuna? Not very heavy at all, and ineffective. That's a dang shame. Okay. We'll have to remember for the future. Trying to punch a bug is very ineffective. So let's blow bubbles at them. Triton is a... Wait, no, Fri Triton is a special attacker. Oh, Bubbles is probably very weak. Right, right, it's Water Gun that's the stronger bubble, uh, stronger water attack for beginners. He doesn't hit, uh... Wait, no. He, right? Yes, he. Ah. Phobos. You will avenge Doppler. The first runs level 2 Pidgey that got killed by a critting Radita. I'm not joking when I say the Rattata have been the worst. They all crit. They all crit so often and so easily. I know in the original Red and Blue, your speed stat was connected to your crit. 
but I don't think that's the same in the remake. I think that stopped in, like, Gen 2. Ooh, Gen 2. That's another one I want to I play again. Hmm. Ah! Kiwi! I know Trap Hinch is your fave. But how about Pokemon type? What's your favorite type? Mine is actually, I was going to say water. Mine's actually poison. But water is very close. Poison types just kind of, uh, kind of get, uh, uh what, what, what do the kids say? nay nay on? <laughs> I'm not sussing out your team comp. I'm just curious about your favorite types. Like, poison is my favorite type. I don't like using poison types because they get stomped on by literally everything. Besides, you can have a favorite type that's not the same that you use all the time. Or are going to use. Uh, ice or ghost? Hmm. Oh, well, dragon goes without saying. Withdraw. Ice or ghost? Both are a lot of fun. Poison and Water, probably my top two favorites. Dragon, it's a very close third. Combinations of like Poison Dragon or Poison Water or Water Dragon or Water... Poison? No, yeah, Water Poison, Poison Water, uh, Water Poison, Water Dragon, Poison Dragon, Water Dragon. Eh. Oh, ha. <sighs> It seems we have a comedian in our midst. <laughs> flying also based. I wanna like flying. There's so many cool flying types. It may just be the games that they end up running into stuff like uh, uh, rock types that tend to Obliterate the flying types. You know what? Steel's also high up there. I absolutely adore Skarmory. I've never been able to use one in a game because they get beat on by literally everything. Uh. You know what? I like dark types a lot as well. They're just so edgy and fun. <laughs> also, Dark types have Umbreon, which is the moon Pokemon. Also, there's Lunatone, which is Psychic Rock? I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rock the dual typing real juicy. Oh, dual types, that's the way to go. Glaceon. Well, Glaceon might be good, but is it the moon Pokemon? I don't know if you noticed, but all of my Pokemon are moon named. I need to figure out how to play Pokemon Sun and Moon. You will never destroy Big Moon. We command your tides. Control your werewolves. We light your romantic dinners. <laughs> Name next one Burger or you go feral. Well, is there a moon called Burger? I'm not sure. If you can find me precedents for a burger moon, then yeah, why not? 
but if there's no Burger Moon, then uh, you may just have to go feral. Somehow, somehow I doubt that. Not to call you a liar or anything, but... <laughs> he thinks you may be... A big favor! You know, maybe that might be a thing. Uh, if it can figure out some way of... Uh... Hey, uh, I'll give you this. If you can work out how to... Uh some kind of circumstance that would necessitate some kind of vote or event or some kind of something remarkable. Like, give me a circumstance in which chat would name a Pokemon and it, when that circumstance comes to happen, maybe then we'll have a vote on what the name will be. that be though. Cause like, like if there was a, if I catch a Pokemon with one Pokeball, no attacks, then chat would get the name of the Pokemon, but I don't feel confident that would ever really happen. But something, something silly like that. Random chance related. And that will be the lucky Pokemon that is named Burger. <laughs> you know what? That's also fair. A little bit of. A little bit of cyberbullying. Oh no! <laughs> uh, well, that's not too low. Triton's a pretty sturdy boy. He's a strong, strapping young lad. For a turtle. I do need to get out of here before hitting 14, though. Sammy with the Weedle. Yeah, rotten little Sammy. No poison. Damn it! I shouldn't have done that. Why is it so strong? No, oh, no, no, not Callisto. Callisto can't kill this Weedle before she gets poisoned. It's starting to hate Weedle. I'm starting to hate Weedle! Okay, good. Critical hit. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, 14 pips. That's not going to be enough to get to this Poke Center. At some point, they do change it so that poison doesn't knock out Pokemon anymore outside of battle. I, d I forget when that goes into effect, but it's not this one for sure, as uh, 
as personally experienced. But hey! Now we've caught up to where we were before in uh, a little faster than we did last time. Let's see. Triton, Phobos, Callisto, Brock's team strongest is 14. So stay under 14. Pidgey and Rattatas shouldn't have any. Okay, yeah. Hit. Right, Pidgey's normal flying, so they don't have resistance to fighting. Good. As long as they're not bugs, this should be pretty quick. Fantastic. And I think Rattata and Pidgey have speed EVs? So enough training fighting rats and birds. Callisto should be pretty strong and pretty fast. Let's see, we'll get to 11. Because we're not going in with what would equate <laughs> one strong Pokemon and nothing else. I don't feel the need to get the 14 with everyone again. Even 11 is a little lower than I would like. But it should be fine. We will redeem our past failures. We'll be able to lay our former team to rest. And we'll make them proud going forward into the future. Someone had guts, and I forget if that was the Rattata. It was. Ceres was the one who had guts. Callisto has. Uh, insomnia? What was it? Vital Spirit. Prevents sleep. Pidgey with Keen Eye is fantastic. Holy cow. Because, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was going to be so. Because, like, Charmander already is at such a stark disadvantage to have. Brock, with his entire. Well, not entire. With his team of two Pokemon. Fire is 50% damage on because ground or rock resist fire. Rock resist fire? But I had Metal Claw and it should have been enough, but it wasn't. It got one shot by freaking Onyx. Wasn't even super effective rock, it just crit and instantly wiped him out. And my Rattata worked so hard. A level 7 Rattata got Onyx to one third of its health. And then, boom. Killed. And a Pikachu with no attacks other than Thundershock. <laughs> Could not touch 
a Geodude or an Onyx. Not even taking into account the Pidgey that died in its first battle, I think. And, uh... What else? I had failed to get one on one route because I knocked it out. Uh... I think I knocked out two different routes worth of Pokémon. Did I even fight Gary? On the I didn't fight Gary with this, with this team. Or, damn it. Ah, uh, it's fine. We'll go back and get him. I may as well go get Gary now. Not Gary. Dayman. Uh, as you can tell, we are the Nightman, and we're going to fight the Dayman. Oh, that team had so much potential, though. We had such good luck. I ran into Pikachu as my first encounter in the Viridian Forest. Oh, we had such good Good luck, and it was so squandered. Oh, well. But now we've got a point to prove. We have a team to avenge. A Brock to defeat. And this time... This time we've got the power. We've got a Squirtle. We've got a Minky. I'm just nervous on if it's enough. That said, Squirtle does have Withdraw. So that should be more than enough to help. Unless the Onyx crits. If the Onyx crits, then it's not going to matter how defensive I get with it. Which was another problem. The Onyx... I kept expecting it to have Bide. And looking on it now, it knows Rock Tomb... Uh... Tackle... Wrap and Rock Tomb, Wrap Tackle, and Harden, or Defense Curl. So it doesn't have Bide, and Bide might have been the original Red and Blue. Hmm. It's been years since I've played this as well, I should say. Like, a long time of years. So, uh, a lot of, in fact, it was 2004. Because that's when this game came out and this that's when I got it. So a lot of the original, uh, no. A lot of the original red and blue, uh, shenanigans are still deep in there. This is why I sent out uh, Rattata to ta not Tail Whip, to Growl until the Onyx couldn't attack for much damage. Uh, let's see. Does his... Does his Pidgey have a flying attack? Does. Phobos is 11, but he learned a flying attack much sooner, so... Hmm. 
So because I have Squirtle, he has a Bulbasaur, and he's got a flying type, the flying move. So, take two! <laughs> uh, I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> as much as I dislike Day Man, I do really enjoy the rivals being not your friend. I like hostile rivals because those are the ones that are more fun to fight. It actually feels like a rivalry and not just like someone pestering you. Don't crit. Don't crit. Okay, good. Just tackle it. Just finish. Good. <sighs> Bulbasaur. Get countered. do it. It did not. Which should be fine. Okay, good. At this rate, Phobos is going to be my new ace. Uh... Okay, so that's enough for a potion. This also places that I could have sworn were supposed to have hidden items that I'm not finding anywhere. And that's a little irritating. Because, like, I know for a fact there's a, a rare candy in a, a house backyard in Cerulean. I could have sworn that there was a potion right above where we fought our rival, which there wasn't one there. There was one behind that tree up here, but uh, not where I thought the other one should have been. I'm starting to wonder, is that the first game only, or is that just something I'm misremembering entirely? Or is there another little nook? All things are possible. There's a trainer with the sand true and a geo dude. Geo dude's no problem, but that sand true is going to be annoying because he's not weak to uh, fighting. For Brock himself, starts with the geo dude and then into Onyx. Should not be as bad. Either which way, Brock may be what we wrap things up with. One way or the other, either in glorious success or bitter defeat. We'll see how that goes. I'm feeling very confident. We've got 
a fantastic lineup. Pidgey aside, we have two answers. And I'm not dealing with poison tights right now. I refuse. Oh my god! Oh, okay, Caterpie. Unfortunately, I already defeated a Caterpie in here, so no capture of the Caterpie. But it's not poison, so good enough. Okay. Time for that gym. about it. This time, I'm gonna spend what I have on potions. There's no possible way we run out of potions before we defeat Brock. No possible way. Uh, what else do we have that we can help? Uh, not much of anything. Ten potions should be fine. He doesn't have any paralysis, doesn't burn, doesn't sleep. I think we're good. as I would have hoped, but we'll take it. Ah, I'm so... so tense! Oh, that's horrible. Probably knows Rock Tomb as well. Try this special attack on, buddy! Oh. It didn't knock him out like I thought it would. And now there's dirt in my eye. Uh, come on, Triton. No! Triton, please! Good thing, though, that, uh, distracted from the stress, so, <laughs> good. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait. How many pieces of bubble do I still have? Uh, 26? This should do it. Day. Here and now, we avenge our fallen team from another timeline. We fight! Let's see. Good. One 
one more. Okay, so no double. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. I, I don't think. <gasps> okay, okay, I take it back. I was gonna switch out Callisto, but I don't think Onyx can... Uh, I don't think Onyx can knock out with 18. Unless it critical hits Rock Tomb. But I don't think it's gonna Rock Tomb first, I think it's gonna Defense Curl. And Karate Chop, how strong is that? I was gonna swap out if we didn't get Karate Chop. Well, since we didn't have Karate Chop. But now that we have it, I feel much more comfortable. Going? No? Okay. Fighting Resist Rock! I use fighting types so rarely, I had no idea they resist rock attacks. Okay, crit still dangerous, but... Oh god. Hey Brock, Nova says hello. Well, I knew, I knew fighting was great against rock. I didn't realize fighting resisted it. Well, that does make sense, yeah. Uh, keeping withdraw because that's going to be important. Uh, but two water attacks? There's no reason to keep bubble. There's just no reason to keep bubble. We'll get stronger water. I think Misty still gives Bubble Beam? So it doesn't even matter. And we defeated Rock! Now the time has been avenged. Nova, Ganymede. Ah, God. Oh no, what was our bird's. No. Io! Pikachu was our Io. Uh, Ganymede the Rattata. Nova the Charmander. I've been avenged. Brock defeated. The timeline set correct once again. I took it for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer upon you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Nightman received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Ah! Justice. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Good luck getting that. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash and use it. Nightman got $1,400 for winning. Wait, take this with you. Nightman received TM39. Put it in the case. We know about TMs. Oh, that was him saying it. Whoops. So, when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains a Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Thanks. Yeah, hey, jerk! Ah, but we did it. 
it took, uh... It took the entire stream to get past Brock. But seeing as he obliterated Team 1, Team 2... With much more favorable odds and much more... Advantageous typing... Made it through. Officially. If you save now, the other could totally lost. Yes. The past can now be laid to rest, as we have defeated Brock. We have made it to the end of time and space and back around again. At least, in, uh, as it pertains to. Eh, timeline, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, all that good stuff. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Definitely going to continue this further on. Uh, it may. It may fill the Saturday slate for now. As next Sunday is definitely going to be... I want to say it's definitely going to be near Automata. As with last Sunday being the... Conclusion, finale, grandest of all time. Holy cow. My brain was... Baked into a potato and... Exploded with... Just how that game how that story resolved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> near stream, near stream, Kiwi. Uh, which, of course, it only went as smoothly as it did because a very knowledgeable sage upon sages with knowledge of the time ways, the, this way and that way and byways, one, uh, one very knowledgeable Eloquent, dashing, kiwi. <laughs> With no small exaggeration as to uh, uh, that the endings and whatnot would only have been possible with a very valued assistance. So, thank you, kiwi. Uh, I think for Automata, is the ending s sequence of Automata that... Uh, that finicky. I mean, I'll talk. We'll probably talk about this later, but yeah, for now, though. <laughs> uh, thank you again for joining me here today. It was a blast and a half. Uh, it is a wild, wild thing that uh, yeah, every year I get to share my birthday with uh, with the Pokemon's birthday. It's weird as hell. It worked out that way, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> and uh, clearly, I'm not streaming on the day of. Uh, but, as always, holy cow. Oh my god. And who knows what's going to happen tomorrow on uh, Pokemon's... Uh, what is it? Direct? Pokemon Direct? Yeah, that's what it is. Hopefully, we get some, some good news on like Scarlet and Violet and some... You know, maybe some bug fixes. Maybe they'll fix the melting land. Maybe the hills won't uh, visibly warp and distend as you get closer to them from 20 feet away. That'd be really nice. I'd enjoy that. I think we'd all enjoy that. <laughs> uh, aside from that, though, I do think the Nuzlocke is going to be filling Saturday Unless something new happens and pops up, and I'll do that for a little bit as well, the Nuzlocke is going to be the priority for Saturdays, though. Automata will be for Sundays. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, aside from that, uh, if you're here live, uh, well, you saw what happened, but if you missed it, 
it will be up on uh, let's see, today's Sunday, so this VOD will be up on Thursday on the Levitom VOD, uh, Levitom Stream VOD Archive on YouTube. Uh, where all the previous VODs going backwards to, well, not the earliest, but extremely early in uh, my streaming uh, history, I'll say. The earlier stuff, uh, well, was lost to either corruption or not knowing certain things had to be told to record in certain ways. But that's neither here nor there. The VOD archive exists. It's got everything that is complete and ongoing. Uh, Saturdays will show up there on Tuesdays. Sundays will show up on Thursdays. Uh, if you want to be kept up to date with what we're doing, when, with who, where, and why, follow me on Twitter. Most of it's, uh, well, what isn't news about what I'm doing, when, and all that stuff I just said that uh, I will not be able to repeat because uh, I forget what I just said. <laughs> uh, that would be the place to find out. As well as, like, just all the fun artwork from games and series I enjoy so much. There is a significant uptick in Signalis fan art as... Holy cow, if you have not yet played Signalis, or don't have access to it, hey! There's a whole entire playthrough of it up there in the VOD archive. <laughs> as, uh, we play an Esler unit trying to find her god dang wife in Robot Hell. Super cool. Super good. Highly recommend the game. Go go check it out. Uh, it's a small indie dev team of two people that made the entire thing. It's, oh, holy crap, it's fantastic. Uh, as well, if you're here... You can see the chat. We have a Discord for the Starlight Circle. For all you Starlings who join here, and following on Twitter and Twitch, uh, join the Discord. We'll have uh, even more stuff going on because there's no character limit like the Twitter has. It's going to be a great place to, ideally, once we have more people doing stuff, uh, playing games together, co-op, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Monster Hunter, things of that nature. Oh, Monster Hunter also needs to be continuing as well. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Uh, Saturdays are going to be either Monster Hunter or Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh, it will depend on A, who's available, B, what I'm feeling, and C, uh, other happenstance, random chance things that occur. <laughs> uh, aside from that, though, uh, if you like what I do, please be sure to follow here on Twitch or Twitter. Uh, if you want to help support the stream, we have a Kofi. It's completely optional. Uh, if you want to throw something my way, that's what that's there for. Uh, we also have a throne wish list, which I'm using mostly because I'm terrible at picking out stuff for myself. And if you want to recommend something, that would be a good way to go about doing it. Letting me know what is, uh, what little, little things are cool and, and, and neat. Doesn't matter how big or small, suggestions are suggestions and they're all good to look at. Uh, I think that's everything insofar as my own nonsense goes. Aside from that, though, uh, check out my friend's streams. Inside the little green button on the right side of the, the screen or below in the panel, there is a link that goes to a bunch of different people. Everyone's really, really cool. Uh, a few in there are on the path to affiliate, like myself, or road to affiliate. I keep forgetting which one it is. The synonyms. Uh, uh, Saxman and myself on the road to affiliate. And holy cow, step by step, we're getting there. Uh, I think as well, at some point, if the rumors are true, there may in fact be a, uh, a certain fuzzy 
fuzzy little little green fruit that might be uh, might be doing something at some point. So keep an eye out. Watch out. She strikes from the shadows. <laughs> uh, beyond that, though, as I keep saying further and forwards even more, uh, thank you for joining me here today. It's been a wonderful, marvelous uh, birthday stream, just like yesterday. I'm so, so happy to be able to share these things with people and share some time and conversation with. It is fantastic to do. And I'm going to keep on doing it. <coughs> Don't keep on doing it. Until next time, though. Uh, take care. Be kind to yourselves and others. Take no shit. And until next time. Be well. Be well. <laughs>